Well, hi there, and thanks for stumbling onto the channel. I did a review on my jumbo size reissue about a week ago and thought while I was doing that video, actually mentioned out loud, hey, I should do a comparison of the classic jumbo compared to with the differences of a reissue jumbo size. Way back in the day, this was called a 227. And since I posted that video, oh, and that's down in the description box if you'd like to see that video. It talks all about this one. Today's video is the comparison of these two and the differences of these two. Now, I 2.55 reissue. That 2.55 is referring to the month of February 1955 when Coco Chanel actually made this bag. The chain is absolutely gorgeous on the reissue. Hands down, it's absolutely beautiful, stunning, beautiful, beautifully made. Now, the comparison of these two, I do want to know, let you know, excuse me, this is a 12 series reissue. So that is a year of 2008, which goes, rolls over into 2009 when it's that uh, series number 12, when it starts with the 12. 2008 that rolls over into 2009. The red, now this is a single flap, and they stopped making single flaps in 2010. This one right here is a 13 series, and that's 2010 when it's a 13 series. Different series uh, run for different seasons and lengths, and you can find this all on in, on the internet about Chanel, but a 13 ran for the year of 2010. A 12 was 2008 and rolled over into 2009. Hope that kind of clarifies some stuff. There are Ch Chanel bags that are vintage and I do own one of those. It's a black, medium, large, a lot smaller than these, and it's from 1991. And it only has seven digits in its serial number since it's vintage. And these have eight digits. So that tells you a little bit about the how old these are, the years that they were made. This is a lamb skin. It's red. And I do know that the code number was a 10C. So it's got a lot of blue, black ground, background in that. And it's a beautiful red, not an orange red. It's really a deep red lipstick color. Unfortunately, I do not know the code of the color of this metallic. It's a metallic silver and it's calf skin and it's pre-wrinkled calf skin. The red one is lamb skin. Definitely a difference. And my lights in my living room are making this very shiny. But this is not Patton. This is just lamb skin. I think I have these up. Let's just compare these chains and get it closer to the camera. All reissues have this type of chain. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I am not sure if this is going to pick it up, but I'm going to keep my hand as steady as I can. Look at the center link. It has like pounded metal. It, it's got a, a detail to it. And the two that are on the outside, top and bottom, are shiny and slick. Absolutely beautiful 
and it feels so cool just to play with it. Does not hurt your shoulders at all. The Jumbo Classic has the lambskin leather woven right through the silver chain. Man, holding these bags up, they're heavy. Okay, I'm going to raise this up. Well, it's not really showing very well. Okay, so close your eyes because this might give you motion sickness as I raise up the camera. But, holding this on my thumb with these chains, you can tell the drop on one of them is a lot bigger. Wow, that is really heavy. The drop is longer. That's what I meant to say. Now, my red one is a single flap, not a double flap. So that has a lot to do with the way the, the garments are. See those garments? They go left to right across the top. You can automatically tell that this is a single flap because of the garments going this direction instead of being in the front and on the back. If it's a double flap, the garments go front to back. See the difference? Okay, on classic flaps and reissues, they both have a back pocket. On the inside of the bags, I have a video on what I stuff my bags with. I use pillowcases because I prefer cotton and not tissue paper inside my bags. The single flap will not have the lipstick compartment and the two slip pockets. The single flap has a jumbo slip pocket that goes from the corner to the corner. It also has a zip pocket back here for security reasons to uh, hold your things that wouldn't fall out if you dumped your bag upside down. Okay, so that's the inside. This one I used the dust bag. Chanel dust bag was my stuffing. The double flap has the two slip pockets with the lipstick pocket. Also has a front slip pocket all the way across from the left to the right here in the front. Also has a pocket back here in the back. Has a zipper here. Single flaps do not have that. So that is a big distinction between the two. Now let's talk about the clasp. On 2.55 reissue bags, they come with what's called a Mademoiselle lock. It is a turn lock, and it says Chanel down here in the metal bar on the bottom end. On this front, you're just going to see the two screws and no writing. Now because this lock is constantly turning open and closed, there will be some rubbing up here. I'm trying to get my light to see it for on the camera. I hope you guys got to see that. Now this lock can turn either way. Left-handed, right-handed, it doesn't matter. 
left, right. Okay. Now on my single flap, jumbo size, has the double CCs. And you can find this on the internet too. You need to know uh, fake bags and real bags, which side of the CC overlaps the other side. It does make a difference. This is just a knob. And it also turns left, center, right. Left-handers, right-handers, it doesn't matter. Okay. When you open up the single flap here of this jumbo, and any double flaps, we'll also have this on classics. See that metal plate? Again, I apologize. I am not good at trying to get this to focus. Not good at all. But this metal plate will say Chanel and Paris and have a certain type of screw on that metal plate. Um, this one for ear 10, it does say Chanel on this metal pull tab for the zipper. But on the reissue, because it has that secret pocket up here on the top, this one has metallic leather, calfskin leather, and a metal uh, zipper pull. No metal on that. So, the comparison of these two, I brought my, I thought I did, a tape measure out here. Yes, I did. I found it. I found it. And just a hair over 12. This one will be easier because it's more uh, sturdy, s stiff, excuse me. Do this one. Eleven and a half. Thirty four centimeters or 13 and a half is the drop Thirteen and a half. that's a long ways this one's exactly 11 inches or 28 centimeters for the drop on the chain big difference I can wear both of these bags cross-body, absolutely no problem. With the metallic one here, and this being calf skin, no problems if you get caught in the rain. Easy to dress this one down with jeans. I can wear this with a summer dress. I can wear this with a business suit. This goes with everything. This red I have worn to business meetings in a business suit. I've also worn it with jeans. I've also worn it with a sundress. So I can dress this one up and down as well. I have no problem wearing either one of these with whatever outfit that I'm wearing. And this one, we 
your cross body. But I normally, with this red one, almost every time that I choose to use this red one, oh, I'm out of frame, sorry. I'm not a very good filmer. I have to beg my pardon. My favorite way of wearing my red jumbo is I tie this in a knot and I have a whole video on how to wear your Chanel's in different ways. That does not hurt this leather whatsoever, having this tied in a knot. And I carry it just like that. Just on the crook of my arm and that chain's not gonna go anywhere. That's my favorite way of wearing this one. Uh, both of these bags came with uh, a full set. Full set means that it came with a Chanel box, a Chanel dust bag, came with authenticity cards, and it also comes with the hologram sticker that is still intact down here on the front of the bags, way down there on the bottom. So we have a red single flap from 2010, series 13, and metallic silver reissue jumbo size. Oh, way back in the day, this was called a 227 size. They don't use those sizes anymore. But a uh, 227 would be the me, excuse me, the jumbo link. If you hear anyone say a 226, that's just a hair bigger than the medium large classic flap. And if you hear the words or the numbers 225, that's the small. They do go all the way down to minis on reissues and also, also minis for classic flaps. But those code numbers, just so that you know, when you hear other YouTubers or people talking and you do hear those numbers, it's still out there in the world. Yes, we all know what those numbers meant. But if you go into a store and say 227, you kind of need to tell them that you're looking for the jumbo size. Let's see, what else? The lock. This one's more square. This one's more rounded. Made in France. I can't think of anything else to say. Uh, if I have my preference, which one do I love better? Well, that's a toughie because when I got this one from eBay, I was actually bidding on a 226. She had the measurements and the code number completely wrong. So when this arrived, I have a video of me opening this. And once I realized what I received, I was quite shocked that that's what I got when that's not what I was bidding on. This one being the red one, I don't know if I love this one more because it was for my birthday and I bought it for myself. Uh, Pre-loved from a wonderful place that's in um, Australia. I've actually bought two bags, this one and a different one from that same boutique from Australia. So I, I guess I have, I like them both. I don't think I have a favorite on the two. I have gotten raindrops on this and it leaves black marks until it dries. Then the lambskin didn't have any marks on it at all once the watermarks absorbed into it. I got caught in sprinkle from where I park walking into my office building and noticed that it had black spots where the water hit. By the time I went to lunch, I keep this in a filing cabinet on tissue paper. <laughs> It's where it sits and went to get it for lunch and could not even tell that there had ever been any water spots on it. So I do know that lambskin will mark at the time the water hits and then it goes away. This calfskin 
does not care if this pre-wrinkled calf skin gets wet. It's not going to leave any marks on this. So, yeah, I think that's it. Well, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, actually, this video is a little bit longer than I anticipated. I just thought it was going to be a short little 10 minute. So this is a comparison of a Chanel Jumbo uh, single flap compared to a Jumbo reissue, 2.55 reissue. Different chains, different types of leather, different locks, but approximately the same exact width. So these would hold the same amount of goodies inside of them. So thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and be sure to check out the description bar below because I will have those other videos uh, posted, how I store my bags, uh, the review, the uh, unboxing surprise of this metallic silver. <laughs> that video is like five minutes long and that's it. So enjoy your day. Hit the like button. It sure does help YouTubers that have small channels under a thousand subscribers. Those like buttons definitely help and leave a comment even if it's just a to say hello. YouTube has a lot of rules and regulations and stuff and when you're a small YouTuber it's even harder. So do a comment. Hit the like button. I'm not going to force you to say uh, please please subscribe but hell if you like this video Check out my other videos and hit that little red subscribe button. Bye-bye.